In the developing world, where pregnancy and childbirth can be risky, maternal mortality rates are dropping. That's the good news. The bad news is closer to home. Did you know that the United States is the only country in the developed world to witness an increase in pregnancy-related deaths? It's natural for mothers in society to focus on baby's health. Meanwhile, nearly 1,000 expectant mothers in this country die each year because of pregnancy-related conditions that are preventable with timely and proper intervention. This issue hits non-Hispanic black women the hardest. For every Caucasian woman who dies from pregnancy-related conditions, between three and four black women will also die. We believe that saving these expectant mothers could start by searching the data. So MITRE researchers have developed a tool to assess the impact of funding levels, healthcare access, as well as different toolkits to examine the impact of these interventions on expectant mothers. We call this tool the MITRE Maternal Mortality Interactive Dashboard. A pilot study of the Maternal Mortality Interactive Dashboard relies on detailed data from eight states that track maternal mortality by race. These data sets, applied to the dashboard, can help identify quantitative correlations among demographic factors like race, age, socioeconomic status, and maternal mortality. For example, MITRE's Maternal Mortality Interactive Dashboard forecasts the impact of efforts to target common complications during pregnancy, including uncontrolled bleeding, high blood pressure, or blood clots. Given a simulated population and an interactive dashboard, these correlations help determine the likelihood or risk of a woman dying as a result of pregnancy. The MITRE Maternal Mortality Interactive Dashboard can help policymakers determine what interventions might reduce the likelihood of maternal mortality. And it can help new mothers and their children get on with the business of living.